hey guys welcome back to the channel if you're a new viewer here please consider subscribing as we're at part three whereby we're gonna mix the beat with you joshua you we created the template for the rhythm how we made the rhythm and now we're gonna look at um, look on mixing the rhythm seeing so i hope you guys been following if you never done follow go back and watch the first one the part one so we're gonna start mix the beat seeing boom I like to mix my music, um, the melodies first, opposed to the drums. So I'm gonna solo all the melodies and fit them in the stereo field where they need to go, and cut some frequency and so forth. But before all of that, we need to create a balance, a perfect balance. See? So we're gonna balance down the rhythm now. That's a good mix down so far, isn't it? Not even mix down, but balance so far. So what we are gonna do now? We are gonna um, ensure so everything fit perfectly um, in the stereo feel. So we're gonna put the kicks, the drums in mono, and um, we're gonna do some stereo separation with the with the melody. Some playing on the left, some playing on the right, and all that good stuff before we 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 we, we um, cut instrument and so forth. See. So with the kicks, I'm gonna monitor them by by doing this. The, this there's this um this knob right here, right here. We bring this 100% TLA right to merge it. So the kick um is no dead center. But what I like to do with my kicks to give it more um strength, I'm gonna press Control A all right left click on the the mouse and the note and then do it use the button to scroll to which turns up the velocity see so the kick it more harder so for the snare likewise mono ayats mono um this is um another um called a percussion i'm not gonna mono it because i want it to play out in the stereo feel but for the kick the snare and the bass line i'm gonna mono them and the ayats see so basically that's it so those that are dead center in the stereo field so the the melodies are are are, are now left to be um placed in their rightful position in the stereo field so let's see what's going on here <laughs> Thank you. 
is um, to about 70% to my left. Alright, some of the sounds I noticed they have they have um like on the or uh, their design they have their own delay and all that. It's already in the sound. I will probably have to fix that on the the uh, the plugin itself, the filtering and all that. But guess what? I don't have time to do that, so therefore I'm gonna just leave it alone. Um and just make use of what um, what I can make use of right now. So let's play it again. Remember as you go along, always hit Control S, which is to save, because you don't want your computer to crash and then it, the, all of the, the work gone. You know, sound too bad, but let me mix it down. I'm going to start applying some plugins. So I'm going to mix the, the melodies first. Um, then I head to the jumps. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this instrument. I could cut it without using, I could use down here, so the equalizer down here. But I like to use, um, you know. But if you want to save on CPU space, you could always use the EQ down here. But I like these because it has more band, band and all that. So. I'm gonna take out about 200. Give it about two, two, 2.5 to give it some coloring. And I'm gonna route that to my, my um, I'm gonna dial in the amount of reverb I need on that particular instrument. I you know reverb give you give you um your your depending on the settings of a reverb that is but reverb basically give your sound more room more presence see so let's dial it in that sounds about right I'm just gonna control my instrument the fruity limiter. I can use other limiters, but I want to use the native um, plugins just in case I don't have some of the ones that I have seen. I want to try trying to squash the the sound, but more more so control it. See, that kind of sound overly compressed. So I'm gonna ease up after compress. Lovely, that sounds very good. Um, I want it to have a little delay to it, so I'm gonna add about a 20% delay. 20% of the delay. Whoa, that's not a delay. 20%. So, you hear that delay, that ping pong delay? Good. So, let's go to the next sound. I'm gonna e show you that you can EQ the sound from here. I'm gonna add a, a VMR. VMR to this sound. I have a preset I like to use. It's called Mellow, which is basically an EQ, harmonics, and compression. See? Alright. 
let me fix this right here could turn on a bit more good Basically, what you're doing is you're trying to make room for the other instrument to come through, and you're also trying to give the sound that is that that is being affected some presence, likewise in the stereo field. <laughs> sounds about right I'm gonna add a, a limiter add some compression on it mix my ear so when it sounds right I leave the knob where it ought to be cool so let's get to the next instrument all right this sound I want to make this sound sound big so I'm gonna use a, a um, doubler and I'm gonna take out the direct I press this this is the preset I'm going for I'm gonna EQ wait I should have EQ'd first because if I EQ'd after the reverb then the, e, the reverb sound will be EQ'd so I have to be very mindful of what plugin I put before what cool let me shut off this for and I add a compressor to control this particular sound
again compression because what we want to do is to ensure that all of our sounds are controlled <laughs> This particular sound don't need much compression, but just in case it should jump. Out. I think this song wants some more presence, so I gave it some more reverb. I brought the VMR to this particular channel and use a preset in it um, called Keys, which I tend to use. And the, the, like when I'm playing Keys, which is an EQ and um, EQ compressor and another EQ scene. Yeah, so. <laughs> This particular sound needs some more character. So I'm gonna give it some more delay, about 30. Alright, so that's basically it for the for the melodies. Let's see what the drums sounds like. I'm gonna start with the bass. I have a preset called kick, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna go to I pass. I'm gonna order it. I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna basically bring up this the the bandwidth until it's level, and then bring it right down to about thirty. And then I'm gonna bring in the VMR again. I've created some awesome presets on the VMR. Trust me, they are golden. There was something okay, so VMR is not loading. What do you do then? I can create. I can create the sound none, nonetheless. But I'm gonna try something. Pull this VMR to this one, and voila, it worked. So I'm gonna go here. Preset, bass, and basically again, I want this session a little EQ and a trimmer. See, and this is what it sounds like. Sound good, right? This is it before it. And I'm gonna give it some compression by utilizing the Arvox Mono and bring this to about 8 or 8.5. 8.5. nine that's my eight eight point five is my sweet spot and then i boost it a bit or probably subtract based on the taste see so basically that's what i do for the basses and then i'm gonna go to um the kick see an eq and the kick this is this is where the template comes in now uh, you can rename this to kick if you want color code it all right we're gonna roll this to the drum because drum is a part of it i'll bring it down a little
think the base is the kick may be hitting too hard. So I'm gonna go back in here, control A, press the right left click on the, the note and then pull it down. So better, much much better. Or we can still probably take off maybe just a slight 8.5 would probably sound great. So what we did with the snare is just cut some frequencies, which is the low frequency, so the bass can have more um, leeway, give it some coloring where it hits sweet, and then we're going to run it to the drum compressor, the drum bus rather, give it some reverb, about 20% reverb. Then we hear what it is. I'm gonna EQ the the, the ads right here. So save and CPU. So the ads sounding good right here. So we have this snare snare put that in green i hats i hats put that in blue Percussion sneer to that and add some delay to it about 35 and give it some presence about 45. And that's basically it, how we mix the beat, and that's it. This particular sound, we want some cutting. of three to one give it a boost gain of two two db i'm gonna i'm gonna run it to the jump boss um delay maybe about 20 percent and i want it to have a lot of presence i'm gonna eat about 60 percent reverb uh -huh. That's what I want. Then pull it down to about 25 dB. I think I'm gonna try um, 
you may not have this plugin which is a it's called the man do mod which is a stereo plugin that brings the frequency from left to right uh, gonna widen the range to about 180 oh man one that's what i love with it we have spoken you can dial in the frequency 180 see because i was wondering why i was not hearing that i put place the plugin on the wrong wrong place So I think I need to bring it back to 90 because I wasn't hearing it. So 90 is it? Oof. But that's that's it. That's basically how you mix the beat. So the next thing we're gonna do is arrangement scene. We're gonna do arrangement. But before we do arrangement, we're gonna do master and then we do arrangement scene. So stay tuned, we're gonna master this beat after. So you don't wanna miss that. You know what I mean? Show in music production. Remember to like, comment, and share with a friend. See? Bam, we're gonna come up with mastering this beat next. So you'll hear everything more refined and put together. The final touch of it. Then we're gonna go into a beat arrangement scene. So stay tuned.